Hi guys, hope everyone's doing well. Um, thought I'd get on here and do a little bit of crafting. I'm gonna do something simple today. I'm just gonna make some cards, but uh, look at my little birds. Let me see what I've got here in the frame. You may not even be able to see it. I'll put it right there. Uh, they're little birds. Here's the mold. And I'm so disappointed in this mold. Well, it looks like it's got something right there. It shouldn't be there. Not a very good mold. And I was expecting a mold that all oh, about this this big. And then I get this little thing. So I was pretty disappointed. They are cute though. Little bitty. Little bitty birds. And I coated them in water-based polyurethane. I like this one. This one's in flight. They're, they're cute. Um, I'll use them on something. But I was just disappointed that they weren't bigger than what they are. <clears throat> <clears throat> so anyway, we're going to move these out of the way. And I ought to do some more. I have some more clay. I just used Bake Shop Sculpey Bake Shop Oven Bake Clay. And it's not easy to get in here. I need one of those knives. You know what I mean? To cut the top off. But you just work your clay up till it gets soft and stick it in here like this. Just like that. And then bake it in the oven for at 375 for... I baked mine for... I think it was 35 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So anyway, I'll make some more of those in a little bit. <clears throat> Let's make some tags. These are the tags I made. Aren't they pretty? And you guys, there's nothing to making these. Absolutely nothing to making them. There's an ant on my desk. I may have to get some ant spray. Ants come in every year about this time. I don't know. My mother has a really bad problem with them. I just can't stand them. But these are just made out of napkins. Oh, my little birds on there. <laughs> Now, let me grab a couple of napkins and we'll get to making some. <clears throat> These are the napkins I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use one of these first. This one first. Set these aside. And you just want to peel off the back layer. Oops. Sometimes there's two layers. Sometimes there's just one. And I have seen three layers. Or this one. They usually come off a little easier than this. There we go. 
make sure that this one doesn't have another layer. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. <clears throat> so anyway, just decide where you want your tag to go. This right here is really pretty. I've already got one like this, so I thought I might do these right here. Or I might do this red and get this butterfly in here like that. Just like that. So anyway, what you do is you take a brush and some Mod Podge. And if you want your tag right there to show, in fact, I'm going to take the string off. It's easier if you take the string off. And I get my tags from Office Depot. Office Depot, is it Office Depot or Office Max in Jackson? Anyway, they come in bulk. And you just paint your Mod Podge on here. Now, if you want this red piece right here to show later, paint a very thin amount of Mod Podge around there. Just a very thin layer. Just like that. And now I'm going to take and lay my butterfly, what I hope is right over. Just lay it down, spread it out. And then I'm going to paint a layer over the top. And be careful again not to paint over that that tag in the whole reinforcement the little red thing see like this one I didn't paint over it and I was able to remove it and it looks better this looks better than here's one without it I like it with the tag sh the enforcement showing tag reinforcement showing so I don't want to paint over that. You'll hear Jill whining in the background. I may have to get up and let her out. She wants back out. She wanted in here with me. She can't make up her mind. Okay. Then we're going to dry this. So turn your volume down. And then next, what we're going to do is just cut it out. I flip mine over. And if you do it on a non-stick mat, then your tag won't stick when you're drying it. You can get several tags out of one napkin. I don't know how many, but several. Um, and the less picky you are about where you place your tag, the more tags you'll get out of it.
Let me trim this up here. I didn't do a very good job. Okay, there's our tag. And then take your scissors and cut this where this is reinforced out or your You should be able to just kind of peel it off. There you go. Put your string back in. Or change your string to something else. You might want to put some ribbon in here or something. Um, that would be pretty to put some ribbon. Some green ribbon would be pretty in this. I don't know if I've got any green or not. Let me see what I've got over here. I have this polka dot. That's kind of pretty. Yellow would be another good one to put in this one. Anyway, there's your tag. How easy was that? And it is a little bit shiny, even though I used... Um, Mod Podge matte. It's still got just a little bit of a shine to it. And you could edge the edges with uh, Distress Ink if you wanted to. That would be pretty. So there's another, t there's one tag. Let's fold this napkin up. Well, we let's see if we could get the Eiffel Tower. Let's see if we can get this Eiffel Tower. Let me get some more tags. I didn't get any out. Oh, I should give you an update on my dog. I think I told you, I think, because I can't remember what I'm telling you, so I've got to backtrack a little bit. Um, I was going to get a miniature, and I was going to get a chocolate, and I was all excited about the chocolate, but I wasn't so excited about the miniature. But I let her influence me and my husband influence me into getting a miniature because she was saying that they sell better because the, um, let's get some glue on this going. Um, the miniatures sell better because of their weight. Apartments are limited. People who live in apartments are limited to 25 pound animals, 25 to 35 pounds. So... I thought, okay, they'd be easier to sell because you'd have a bigger clientele to, you know, you know what I mean. So, and then my husband, he said get a miniature because of our house being small. So I thought, okay, that, that makes sense. We've got a small house, you know. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. So, you know what we could do? We could cut out one of these butterflies and put on here. Even though it doesn't have one on here, we could put one on here. We might do that. Let's just see about that right now. Let me see. There's a purple one. Let me cut this purple one out. So my husband says get a miniature because of our house size. I said, okay. So I told the lady, the breeder, that I wanted the miniature. And I was all excited. But I got to talking to my mom the next day. I said, you know, I fell in love with the standard. I just don't know that I'm going to like the miniature. The miniatures, I like small dogs, don't get me wrong. I love all animals. 
But I've had small dogs. I've had a Maltese and I've had a Shih Tzu. My brother's got two Chihuahuas. Um, and you just can't play with them the same. I mean, you can play with them. I don't know how to say this, but you can't roughhouse with them. And I don't mean roughhouse with them to the point where they're aggressive, but you just can't, you just can't play with them the same. You have to worry about hurting them and things like that. And I told my mom, I said, and that's not what I fell in love with. I fell in love with the standard. Our neighbors had one when we lived in Washington. And then the other day I was at the vet and this woman came in with a standard uh, golden doodle and oh my gosh, I was just head over heels in love. If that woman had told me she would have sold me that dog right then and there, I would have jumped on it. I was just instantly in love with that standard golden doodle. And so it was, it's the, the standards that I'm in love with. And I told my mom, I said, I just don't think I'm going to be happy with the little one. I'm going to have to worry about it all the t more and everything. I just, I just want the standard. I can't help myself. So I said, I think I'm going to have to disappoint Timothy and, and get the standard. So I called my husband up and I said, I explained it to him. And he said, well, do what you want to do. <laughs> of course he said that. But no, he did. He said, told me to do what I wanted to do. And he's great. And he said it was my dog and I needed to be the one to be happy about it. Oh no, I painted over that. I don't know if I'll be able to get that off now or not. Well, we're only going to put half this butterfly on here. So I called, whoops, my brush just went flying. So I called the breeder back and I told her my situation. I said, I just want a standard. That's what I fell in love with. So she said that was fine. She had no problem selling the other one because it was a female and because um, it was chocolate. She wouldn't have any trouble with it. The other thing I wanted was a blonde. I initially wanted a blonde. I would take a chocolate in a heartbeat. But uh, I love the chocolate, but I wanted a blonde initially. So she's got blonde females. And if they have a liver-colored covered nose, you know, the pink nose instead of the black nose, if they have a pink nose, they'll throw chocolates if you breed them to the right dog that has chocolate in his background or if he's a chocolate himself. But if they have a black nose, then they're not as likely to throw a chocolate. Now, that's the way I understand it. You correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, hold yours while I dry this. So right now that's where we stand and that's where I'm going to stay is I'm going to get a standard size uh, Labradoodle. Not a golden doodle, but a Labradoodle. And the difference in the Labradoodle is practically none other than you're guaranteed to get the shorter nose where the, the golden retriever has a little bit longer nose and the, lab, the labs have a shorter nose. And I forgot to take my string out. I don't know if I can get it out now or not. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I did. Makes it easier to cut across here. So, 
right now she has puppies that are four weeks old. So I've got at least four weeks, four to five weeks before I'll get my puppy. And she was going to go through her litter. She's got several litters right now. And she was going to go through them and see what she had. Hopefully a blonde with a liver with a liver colored nose or the pink nose or better yet a chocolate okay there we go we got our Eiffel Tower and our butterfly and let's see if I glued this down I think I did yeah I glued that tag down so it'll have to stay put our string back in so don't be afraid to cut pieces apart on your napkin and put them in like right now I could cut some of this flour out I could take this just like this and add some of these flowers in here and what I'd want to do is kind of rough this up on the edge tear it instead of cutting it and I could put some of this flour in here Just like that. We could do that. So you're not limited to just what's on the the napkin. You can cut and, and mix. Now let me dry that. that's the saga of the dog story okay now we have some flowers in there so what do you think I think it's pretty let's change napkins now and do something different let's do let's do this one I think this is really pretty. I have tons of napkins, but florals are my favorite. I love flowers. Um, I love birds. I love cats. What's the matter, Juliana? Do you want out? Okay, there's one layer. This one has two layers, so I'm going to have to peel the second layer off somehow. Okay, let me get this layer off. I'll let you out. Okay. You want to go outside with Dave? There you go. She's like a little kid. Okay. Look at these roses down here. I like this one right here. Okay, let's try not to let's try to put just a thin layer around that this time where I mess up and forget is when I lay over the top and then I go to paint on top the Mod Podge on top I I just go right over that and I forget about it. So I didn't forget this time. Okay, let me dry this one.
This one's going to be super pretty. Super pretty. And I'm going to use these in my journal, but you could use them um, as gift tags. And what I would do, if I was going to use it as a gift tag, is I would just stamp a piece of paper or cut out a square piece of paper and put to and from on it and just put it right on there. See, we didn't glue this this time, so it's going to come right off. When you go to peel this off, see this? When you go to peel, tear that off, pull towards the tab. Don't pull down. If you pull down, you're going to rip up some of your napkin. Pull towards the tab or up. There we go. Good enough. Put my string back in here. I wonder if I've got any pink ribbon. Let me look. I know I do. It's just a matter of finding it. I have some of this. It's not, it's so sheer though, you can't see it. get me some ribbon everything I've got is sheer ribbon I have got to get me some ribbon that is solid color okay there we go isn't that pretty I think that's so pretty and they'll look so pretty in a journal I don't have any pockets in this one I've got to work on this one but it looks so pretty in there Okay, should we do one more? So far, we've done this one, and this one, this one, we cut stuff out and put on here. And this one already had the butterfly on it. That's what we've done so far. Let's do one more. Let's get these in there. Hold your ears.
Okay. This one's going to be gorgeous too. Let's see. I'm going to figure out which way I want to cut it. You could sit and how long have we been on here? 15 minutes maybe? And we've made four. They're really quick and easy. You could have a whole slew made up in no time. Okay, and then see I tore too much of this one off, but that's okay. Sure would look pretty with some colored ribbon. Let me look one more time. See if I can find some colored ribbon. some white I have this one this is the only one I found in there that wasn't sheer I don't know where I got all that sheer ribbon from but I definitely that's an excuse to go shopping an excuse to go shopping I'm going to Hobby Lobby tomorrow they're having a 50% off their paper Paper craft items. Oh, look, see, isn't that pretty? There we go. Isn't that pretty? I hope you'll give this a try. I think you'll really enjoy making them, and um, they're fast and easy. You could take several napkins and and create your own creation, kind of like we did with uh, this one when we put the butterfly on here and the flowers. That made a really pretty one. Otherwise, this one would have been a little bit on the plain side with nothing but the Eiffel Tower on there. So we really helped it dress it up by putting the flowers and the butterfly on there. So anyway, I hope you'll give it a try. And... Um, Please subscribe if you haven't already, and at least this video wasn't late this week, y'all. <laughs> Yay! So, but I've had an easy week this week, nothing going on, so that's why I was able to get this out on time. So, Wednesday seems to be my day to get things out, but I wanted to get this one out a little bit early since I was so late with the last one. But anyway... Give it a try. Let me know if you do. Send me pictures of your tags if you do it. I would love to see them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.